Hello and welcome back to your August 2024 real estate update for Chino, Chino Hills, and San Bernardino County. Hi, I'm your host Thomas Ryan with Thomas Ryan Real Estate. I am a Southern California real estate agent based in Chino, California with a reach and pulse on all five Southern California counties. Today we have a great video for you packed with information about the previous month's market activity. In these monthly market updates, the goal is to bring you statistics, insights, and ultimately our anecdotal evidence about what's going on in the market with the ultimate goal of keeping you well informed about our local real estate market. As always, we will hear from Benny Ravishin with Movement Mortgage and he'll provide us some insight on the mortgage rates currently and ultimately the impact on the impending Federal Reserve federal funds rate cut later on this month. Should you have any additional questions about the real estate market or you have aspirations of buying or selling a home, you can always reach out to me directly. I can be reached at 909-334-2049 or you can find me and direct message me on all the social media sites. All you have to do is search Thomas Ryan Real Estate. All right, that's enough with the introduction. Let's get into the update. In the month of July, we saw the number of available homes on the market climb slightly. Let's see if that trend continued in the month of August. It did in fact. The number of active listings climbed in Chino by 14% to 153 homes, up 27% in Chino Hills to 121 homes, and up just 2% in San Bernardino County in the month of August. There is certainly no denying it. The number of available homes on the market has certainly climbed over the past few months as compared to the beginning of this year, giving many home buyers more options and opportunities in the market. But this could be short-lived if in fact interest rates do come down later in September sending many buyers back into the market and flocking to open houses. With the number of homes available on the market in the month of August being up, how do you think that translated to the number of closed sales for the month of August? Let's take a look. We saw a 4% decrease in San Bernardino County as a whole a 14% decrease in Chino Hills, while Chino was up 32% in sales from 55 last month to 66 in the month of August. August can be a tough month in the real estate market. It is the end of summer and most all children are getting back into schools, at least in the Chino Valley School District, which can lead to a slowdown in the real estate activity for the month. With that being said, Chino had quite a rebound from the month of July, while Chino Hills and San Bernardino County as a whole saw moderate decreases. With the active and sold activity for the month of August being kind of all over the place, you may expect the same for the median days on market. Let's take a look and see what that looks like. The median days on market was only up a few days in San Bernardino County and Chino, while Chino Hills saw no change sitting at 13 days on market. San Bernardino County sits at 21 days on market and Chino at just 15. The days on market numbers remain relatively low considering the fact that we've seen an increase in the available homes on the market. With that being said, I would expect these numbers to start to continue to increase for the month of September based upon the fact that I'm seeing that on my own listings currently active on the market. However, as we get into October, I wouldn't be surprised if they creep back down again with the impending rate decreases. The median price per square foot for a city or a specific market is a great indicator on the health of the real estate market. And I have that data for you now. You may have expected the volatility in the market to have a larger impact on median sale prices but that simply hasn't happened. We saw a 1% increase in Chino Hills, less than 1% increase in San Bernardino County, 
and a modest 5% drop in Chino in the month of August, which actually brought it to the level we have been hovering at for the last six to 12 months. As you can see, the median sales prices are trending in the upward direction with some modest blips here and there in the data. With that being said, with the expectation that we will have increased activity in September, we may see some higher rebounds than expected in median sales prices. Months of supply refers to the number of months it would take to sell the current inventory or the current number of available homes on the market given the current sales pace. Historically, six months of supply is associated with a moderate level of appreciation. However, if that months of supply is lower, that can push that appreciation quicker. Let's take a look at the months of supply we have today. San Bernardino County is at 4.2 months. Chino is at 3.1 months and Chino Hills is at 2.9 months. While we are still in some cases far below the moderate six months of supply, we are however seeing increases in that months of supply, especially compared to the beginning of 2024, where we saw a range of one and a half to three months. What this shows is that the demand has still kept pace with the number of homes on the market, thus pushing prices in the upward direction. Speaking of values, let's take a look at the median sale prices for Chino, Chino Hills, and San Bernardino County for the month of August. San Bernardino County remained roughly at the same level of $527,000. Chino actually increased by 16% to $758,000, and Chino Hills dropped just 2.7%, dropping slightly below that $1 million threshold to $992,250. With what seems to be week by week volatility in the real estate market, many people get nervous, but based upon the data and my experience, there's one thing that I can very confidently say. We are not headed for a crash. Now, barring any global catastrophe, I would suggest that we're going to see prices moderately increase for the foreseeable future. And now for the topic on everybody's mind for the past few years, mortgage interest rates. Well, we have Benny Ravishin with Movement Mortgage to give his insights on where we are right now with mortgage interest rates and where we could be later on in September, given the fact that we expect the Federal Reserve to reduce the federal funds rate. Take it away, Benny. Thanks, Thomas. Well, let's get right into it. If you guys remember from the last couple months of these market updates, um, I've been talking a lot about, we've started to see interest rates come down a little bit, and that trend has continued this previous month, which is awesome. Today, we land on around the mid sixes for a 30-year fixed, where about a month and a half ago, we were in the low seven. So that trajectory is still coming down. So I wanna explain what I think is gonna happen coming up. Now, there's big talks in the news about the Federal Reserve is gonna to start to cut the federal funds rate. The next meeting is September 18th. It is almost guaranteed that they're gonna finally start cutting rates. This is awesome, but I wanna explain the impact of that and what it will have on mortgage rates. Mortgage rates change every single day. They're based on the mortgage-backed security market, as well as the 10-year treasury, which are the main sources of how we monitor mortgage rates. Now, on July 30th, when Jerome Powell essentially admitted that all of the factors they're looking at, unemployment rising, inflation coming down, are all coming to fruition that they're ready to start making cuts. As soon as he said that, we saw the mortgage rate market impact in a favorable way. And that's why we've seen interest rates drop since the end of July. Now, as we get closer to September 18th and they start to do their federal rate cuts, that doesn't mean that mortgage rates are gonna drop a quarter percent that day. It could be that mortgage rates are flat. It could be that mortgage rates maybe tick up a little bit. I think the best way to view mortgage rates is from a 30,000 foot level. We are gonna see mortgage rates slowly tick down over the next couple years. There are good days, there are bad days. There are good weeks, there are bad weeks. That's just how it's gonna go. So my advice to a buyer in this market is, don't wait on the Fed cutting rates, knowing that they meet every six weeks. Interest rates change every single day, sometimes multiple times a day. If you're in the market to buy, my advice to all of my buyers is 
Just get ready. Be financially secure. Make sure that you have a good plan in place and you don't try to time the market based on the Fed. You just make sure that you're financially in a good position to cover those payments and you get into the market knowing that if interest rates continue to tick down in the coming months or years, there might be an opportunity to save some money via refinancing that into a lower rate. So overall, really happy with where rates are. Just wanted to make it very clear that the Fed will start cutting rates and what that impact has on mortgage rates. We'll update you guys next month as we get closer to this election. And I'm gonna shed some light on the impact of that election on real estate, as well as mortgage rates. We'll talk to you guys soon. That's awesome. We appreciate all that information, Benny. And we appreciate the fact that we're seeing some relief on mortgage interest rates. Now, if you're interested in getting yourself pre-approved or you're just curious what it would take to get you pre-approved for a mortgage, please feel free to reach out to me directly and I'll put you in touch with Benny. We appreciate you for watching this video and we hope that you found this information helpful. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button down below and consider subscribing to the Thomas Ryan Real Estate YouTube channel or follow me on Instagram at Thomas Ryan Real Estate. Both of these are completely free and it is very helpful for me to be able to get the information out to you as well as other people like you interested in what's going on in our local real estate market. Again, always feel free to reach out to me directly with any of your real estate related questions. I can be reached at 909-334-2049 or if you would like, you can leave a comment down below because if you're wondering about a specific specific question, maybe someone else's as well, and we can help everyone at the same time. All right, until next month, have a good day. Bye.